Welcome back YouTube. My name is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, we're going to check out the not operator and we will see multiple versions of it. So let's create a not h greater equal 30. So you can go ahead and do it like that. You can just say, okay, executed and just run it. And as you can see, it's executed because the h is not greater equal 30. But of course, this is not very efficient because first Python checks this code here and then it negates it and then it checks whether that the whole statement is true. So you could, of course, do it a lot, a lot faster by just saying if age lower 30 or less than 30 and then just print the same thing here executed. As you can see, both are executed. So this if statement would be a lot more efficient than that one, not just in types in terms of typing, but also in terms of processing power and speed. So you can use the not operator. It just negates the whole thing. And in this case, it really doesn't make that much sense, but I still wanted to show you that it's possible. Then there are cases where it actually makes a lot more sense. And that's if we, let's say, have a little list with Max and Nadine and now I want to check if Moritz, or let's say Mo, is not in names. So what I'm checking now is Mo not part of the names list. And if that's true, then let's just say something like Mo is not in the list. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So let's print that. And as you can see, or execute that, you can see Mo is not in the list. Now, we can, of course, do the same thing in a different approach where we can just say if not Mo in names. And we can print that again. Same thing. Mo is not in the list. And as you can see, it's executed as well. So both versions are fine, but not in this version here is nicer or is prettier to look at and also easier to to guess what's going on or to understand what's going on because here we see this not and then we see this in later so here we see both in one line and it's easier to read is mo not in the list names and if that is true then please print that statement and here we say if not mo is in names so everyone else but mo is in names pretty much then print the statement as well. It's the same thing as this one here, but it's, as I said, not that easy to read and not that well written, I'd say. So highly preferred is this version here. So the only thing that you really need this not operator for is really to, to just quickly negate whatever you're checking. So of course you could have gone ahead and done something like if mo in names then print something mo is in names mo is there and else print mo is not in the list of course you could have gone ahead like this but if you just want to check if somebody's not in there to just check the negated version first then this if statement is going to be better and by the way, that's something that I haven't covered yet. And I will look into even closer when we go to the elif. But whenever you have this if statement and the if statement is true, the whole else statement will never be checked. So it won't even be thought about. So the code will just go or the, the cursor will go here. If mo in names, if that statement is true, then it will go here and then it will straight away jump to the line here. So to this line where I'm at with my cursor right now with my mouse. So we'll just skip the whole thing. All right. And that will make a lot more sense as soon as we get to Aleph. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then leave a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. And by the way, if you really love the content and you would like to have more of it or pretty much all of it, then of course, check out the link in the description to my whole course. See you in the next video.